Welcome back to Outdoor Skills Made Easy. Spring is coming on and of course there's still snow in the mountains, but spring to us means time to break out the spring bar. Make sure that all the parts are still there so that when we can get up into the mountains and not have to camp on the snow, we're ready to go. And of course, when we're camping, we love our campfires. And we've done a lot of tutorials about ways to make a fire and different types of campfires. But here's one that we haven't taught yet. It's called a Dakota fire. And Dakota fire was used widely by the Native American Dakotas and of course in North and South Dakota. And it's basically two pits that you dig in the ground with a little tunnel in between. And so you'll build your fire in one of the pits and the tunnel will suck in air. And a lot of times you won't get any smoke coming out. So it's very nice, but it also provides warmth and cooking fire. So let me show you how that's done. Okay, let's just unfold our shovel. Tighten that down. Now we can get to work. Let's put this dirt aside. Our Dakota fire pit today is about 18 to 20 inches deep. I've seen them much larger than we're building today, but for our purposes, a nice small one's gonna work well. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Now we'll move on to the other side. We're gonna try and dig straight down, try and preserve the little bridge that you need for your tunnel in between the two. So let's see how we do with this one. Okay, now let's see if we can tunnel through. I'm gonna go ahead and change the head of my shovel. Just unscrew that, turn it sideways, tighten it up again. This is perfect. As we're starting to tunnel through, it's a little harder to use my shovel, so I'm just gonna resort to a stick, work my way through until we pass through the tunnel. Warming me up and I don't even have a fire. Okay, I'm getting there. Oh, I think I might be through. There it is right there. So we'll just widen out that hole so we have more airflow. And then get our fire going. We've prepared some of our kindling. Now we're just gonna lay the fire, start it up and let the air draw through and see how it works. Okay, we'll just lay some pieces in here as a base. Then I've cut some smaller pieces. We can lay the beginnings of a log cabin fire that allows the air to flow in between. Then we can just stack up some pieces on top of that and we'll break up some of these so they're little finer pieces. All those little fibers, that's important. Those nice little fibers there. Let's put a flame to it. We do have a little breeze today and you can see as that flame starts to grow, you can see how the smoke is curling upward and away from our little vent hole. So that's working perfectly. The great thing about the log cabin fire is it allows airflow all the way through the fire and it'll really get going. You can see that as the fire builds, it's protected from the wind and it's getting less and less smoky. So we have a nice warm fire, a great place to cook, and we just sit here and enjoy ourselves. We are really grateful for the gift of your time watching our videos. We hope that you've learned something new, and we hope that you'll join us again on OSME TV.